What's up YouTube friends? Seth here with Throttle Addiction and today we are going to be talking about our deluxe hardtail kit. Uh, everything it entails, what it's about, where it's made, what it fits, all the goodies that go on. Stick around till the end of this video and we're gonna show off some of the customer builds that we've seen out in the wild, we've seen at shows or that people have sent in to us to uh, really show off their work. Our deluxe hardtail kits fit Sportsters from 1982 all the way up to 2003. Doesn't matter if it's an 883, if it's a 1200, if it's one of the late model iron heads, this guy will do the trick. Um, these are 100% made in the USA right here in this facility in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Uh, comes in in a batch of tubes, a bunch of 916 round bar, some flat strap. We cut it, we bend it, we twist it, we squish it, we form it, we do everything. 100% TIG welded, every single piece, the sissy bar, all TIG welded, the oil tanks. Uh, again, 100% TIG welded, everything on the frame. So the Throttle Addiction Hardtail Deluxe Kit, your real advantage is it is the most complete kit on the market. Uh, it, kind of comes with uh, everything you need to get going. So it comes with the frame, obviously, with all the axle adjuster bungs, the motor mounts, the oil tank mount, the battery mount, all that stuff pre-welded on it. Uh, you're gonna get your choice of seats. We have three different seat options, two different patterns to go with that. So you get your seat choice, your sissy bar choice, if you want a short, tall. Uh, fender comes with it. Uh, comes with the oil tank, 100% welded up, ready to go. So really, you're buying one product, you're making a couple choices as far as your seat sissy bar. Other than that, it's just 100% ready to rock and roll, weld on kit. Once we have our measurements, we're just taking a angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, die grinder with a cutoff wheel, a sawzall, whatever you got, and we're making some cuts, uh, three cuts on our existing frame, Say, grinding them down a little bit to get them nice and square and flush, pushing the two halves together, putting the motor in, the motor's really what holds everything square, bolting it down, and then welding it up. If you can't weld it, you don't have a welder, get it in there, get it put together, bring it down to one of your local fab weld shops. They'd love to do it. That's how a lot of guys do it. They kind of do the stripping, the cut and the prep, have someone else weld it, piece of cake, cramming everything back in there and you're done. Another advantage of doing a hardtail kit versus like a full aftermarket frame, uh, the VIN of the motorcycle is on the front neck of the frame as well as on the motor so we're keeping that front neck we're keeping that front half so you don't have to get a special construction title you don't have to retitle it the motor bin matches the frame bin so all that is kept a little little less headache makes life easier in the long run We've been building these for quite a few years now we've installed a lot of them we ride a lot of them uh, this gives us an opportunity since we own the whole process start to finish if there's something we don't like if we're hearing complaints from customers is there something we need to tweak or adjust uh, we're not calling a guy going down the street trying to figure it out we're making these right here in house so we're able to on the fly tweak things adjust things we've made some changes over the years really kind of uh, developed it into the the really high quality top of the line product we have today If you jump on throttleaddiction.com, go to the Deluxe Sportster product page. Uh, we got links to installation videos. There's instructions for the actual assembly of these things, so you can kind of take a look. We got customer uh, build photos, so you can kind of see what you're getting as far as an end product. We have a whole landing page with everything you need to know about the Sportster hardtail kit, a bunch of add-on parts, add-on pieces, if you want to go that route. Uh, really just a wealth of knowledge there with wiring diagrams to go with our hardtail wiring harness. 
Uh, we got videos on wiring these things up. So we really, as we've been going through, we're building them, we're developing. We really have this, this big uh, wealth of knowledge that we've tried to put all together in one place to help make your guys' life easier. When you get your deluxe hardtail kit from us, you get an option of three different seat styles. So we got your traditional king and queen uh, high back seat, a little solo seat, and then a nice cobra seat. Once you choose your seat style, then you can choose the pattern you want, either the diamond stitch or the pleated. All three seat options are designed for our hardtail kit. Super easy, take on and off. This uh, tab just slides into our backbone. These two guys you'll mount to your fender, matching the contour of the fender nicely. Uh, and the king and queen's got a bolt on the back, uh, matches the angle of the sissy bar, contour of the fender, just a single bolt up there. So pretty easy, one bolt, slide it off, slide it on. Just the same as the deluxe hardtails themselves, these are 100% made in the US. Uh, marine grade vinyl covers, uh, steel pans, nice felt backing on those bad boys. I made right here, we bend the steel, we cut the steel, we weld it all together, we foam them, we cover them right here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So with our deluxe hardtail kit, we give you an option of sissy bars. We have the short one for that mean aggressive look and the big tall kind of traditional style for packing 700 million things, tying it to. This one also comes with the uh, mount location for the king and queen seat. Again, all 100% made, TIG welded right here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So you bought the deluxe kit, you got it installed. What we've been finding is a lot of guys uh, aren't wanting to run dashes, they're not wanting blinkers, they're not wanting gauges. All they're wanting, headlight, taillight, ignition, bare bones, minimal. So we took the opportunity to design a wiring harness that meets those specifications for this exact deluxe hardtail kit. Uh, you can literally cut every single wire off your bike, put this on, you're down the road in hours. Really good how-to video on YouTube with everything you need to know about this. We have wiring diagrams that help you along through the process. We identified a bunch of kind of cool add-on parts and pieces, uh, motor mount to mount that thing, the battery cable, some plugs for your speed sensor, this Ultima programmable ignition upgrade. The good thing about buying the deluxe hardtail from us, as well as all these other parts we've identified, we got headlights, we got taillights, we got everything you need on throttleaddiction.com. Our hardtail kit, it does stretch it two more inches, giving you kind of that long chopper look like we need. Because of that two inches of stretch, we're either gonna need a little bit longer belt which we've identified and sell on the site. Or if you're looking for more of that old school vintage look, uh, we also have chain conversion kits for uh, the year make model that uh, you're chopping. As far as rear brake setups go, uh, we supply different mounting hardware blocks. So you can take your existing brake caliper and your caliper mount you just throw that one on there with a little bit of modifications on the early ones, but you're able to reuse that same caliper in that same bracket. Uh, we also sell a little four piston or two piston with a separate mounting bracket if you wanted something a little different, something a little more custom. Really, if you got a factory one, you need to something to mount that up, we got that covered. Or if you're looking for something a little different, a little custom, I uh, got some options for that as well. Couple more doodads, things we've identified ourselves, or when I talk to guys at shows running our hardtail kit that they've incorporated, or things people have called in and asked for. Uh, I mean, just all sorts. We got exhaust brackets and the oil tank fittings, kickstand brackets, all sorts of things that really fit, really work well. Just some add on, additional parts, additional pieces. Anytime someone's looking for something based around our kit, 
uh, and we can help them out. We can source it, we can build it, we can find it. We again, put that on the deluxe hardtail, everything you need to know, Sportster page. My name is Adrian Inman. Uh, I brought my 1995 Sportster to Born Free and I live in Long Beach, California. Oh man, so I got my bike two years ago and uh, you know, buddies got me into it. I see them in the garage. They're hard telling this shit. So it was only a matter of time. I went over to the throttle addiction tent and uh, someone helped me. The price was right. The rest is basically history, man. I just started wrenching and working. Uh, I will say this, the hardtail kits that you guys have make it so easy for someone just getting into this who doesn't know anything. The slugs, the way it slides in, all you gotta do is chop them in half, clean up the holes a little bit, fits in perfectly. Fender, sissy bar, seat, hardtail, yeah. The brake, the brake stay, <laughs> like, it's a lot of parts, yeah. My name is Rob, Buffalo, New York. Uh, built this bike over at Maltese Co. with uh, my buddy Angelo. So here we got a 2000 uh, Buell M2 Cyclone in an 88 Sportster frame. Uh, we got the throttle addiction uh, well done, which in my opinion, I think it's the best looking kit on the market. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little bike, it's a ripper, fast as fuck, and it looks good. I went with the deluxe kit, the Cobra seat with the oil tank and the sissy bar. I cut the sissy bar down and squared it off. Uh, it was relatively uh, easy. Um, cut the bike where I was told to cut it, plugged it in, welded it in. Uh, that went fairly well and the parts that I got to fit it, you know, they, they plugged right in there. Um, I got uh, the brake caliper and uh, mount for double O to O3 Sportster and it worked right in. Um, so relatively it was an easy experience. Read the fucking pamphlet and sent it. Did my measurements and went right for it. Awesome. And it all works out. Ride straight. It's good as fuck. I'm Aiden De La Rosa. I'm from Duncanville, Texas. And I brought this 1992 Sportster Hugger. Chopped. Nothing on the bike is original. It's an 883, but it's punched out to a 1200. Uh, everything to hold back in. Uh, sissy bar, seat, oil tank, cut it, welded it. I have a little Everlast welder. Uh, just taught myself how to TIG weld at the house. I don't have any other fancy tools, no lathe or nothing like that. The instructions that they give are actually very good. You just follow it just exactly like it says, and it goes right back in, and you, you slug weld it. I, I like to put the motor in there. That way it's all bolted in and held together real tight, and then I do as much as I can. And then I pull it back out and do the finish weld where, you know, underneath you can't get it if the, the motor is in the way. But yeah, it's smooth. My name's George Salazar. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I brought my 2000 Sportster 1200 Custom to the show. I always loved choppers and I, I, I sold my old bike after El Diablo. And, um, I went from knowing nothing about building a bike and uh, I just went all in and I checked up uh, Chop Coats forums and you know it, I took some welding classes, I did all the fab work myself, I, had a, I rewired everything and yeah so shout out to all the home builders that are just like learning as you go. If I could do it, anybody could do it. I hear a lot of good reviews about the throttle addiction kit so I went ahead and put the trigger. I think I, I found them at... Um, Born Free 2021. Yeah, I took some classes, uh, some welding classes down the street from my house. And I wanted to do everything myself, myself. So I went for about six months and learned how to TIG weld. And yeah, I went from there. Just the fabrication on it, just like me being able to like wrench in my garage, not knowing anything and just picking it up and learning as I go. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you have any questions about fitment, about different product, about anything on the deluxe hardtail kit, uh, throw them down in the comments below. DM us on Instagram or email them over to info at throttleaddiction.com.